Um, okay, so this was actually taken in London uh, for anyone who's gone to McMath. This is my photo teacher, Sharma, um, and he's basically taught me everything in this slide. So I thought that'd be a nice touch. Also, it looks like a band cover photo. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the art teacher, Mr. Fee, in the background. Um, this was actually one of my first photos that I took for a photo assignment in grade nine. Um, it was called, it was for window lighting, and my sister and I were, I was experimenting with the window and the lighting, um, and at one point my sister, when she, I was taking the picture, she just bent down and it got this really cool effect. Um, and in the background there's Christmas lights from a neighbor. This is my cousin Daniel, uh, this is Candid, and uh, we had like shark fin soup and these gold, bowl things and he was just like in absolute awe and I was sitting across the table from him. I got that. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is my younger cousin Emma. Uh, she's actually very shy and I thought this photo really captures you know her personality even at that young age. Yeah she's very much like Boo and she's holding on to her dad's leg and it's kind of like that fascination that a lot of kids have as well. Uh, this is my great-grandmother uh, from a couple of years ago from Mother's Day. And uh, at the time, everyone was having a miserable day for some reason, and like all the kids were whining. And uh, I just looked across and I took a picture of her and it was like absolutely perfect. Um, and this was actually used when, for her funeral when she passed away and just like captures her. Um, so this is a person I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was in Gastown uh, actually volunteering with Girl Guides and I saw this man talking on his phone I was like this man is absolutely perfect and I like even though he was on his phone I was just like hey can I take a picture of you and he was like yeah go ahead and it just was like great and it was snowing that day and yeah. Uh, this is actually from the same concert that uh, James Pacific McMorrow that Ashley was talking about earlier. Uh, I don't know the name of this band but I was just standing there and I thought the guitar kind of just kind of framed him. Oh, right. Okay, they're called white asphalt. <laughs> um, this picture is actually taken in London as well. I didn't ask him for this picture, so if anyone knows him, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I just really liked his style, and I thought it was very interesting, and I was discreetly took it as he was walking past. Um, so this picture is actually very interesting. It was one of the first days in London and these guys were uh, making fun of us because it was a bunch of students and they were all like with their cameras taking pictures of things. But then after a while they kind of got interested in what we were looking at and were on a graffiti tour and they were just like, oh, I didn't know this about my own city. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sick. Um, this was taken at YVR and uh, I saw this band there while I was traveling to LA and um, I just thought that they had such cool characters so I went up to them and I was like, hey, can I get a picture of you guys? And I feel like just the way that they're sitting, their faces expresses exactly who they are. Uh, this was taken in a museum in London again. Uh, rather than taking just the picture itself, I thought that this one in particular kind of had nice rule of thirds and also brought the viewer back from the painting and like brought them back into reality as a viewer. Um, this was taken on the sky train. I did ask this guy, so. <laughs> um, um, and again, I just, I like to style and I just asked him, I was like, hey, can I get your picture? And he said, yeah, and I told him, just show me, like, what's your thinking face? And that's what he did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one is actually also taken in London, sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, I liked his character. He was just standing there looking all cool, and um, I thought I'd put it in black and white to make it give it that old timey look. And I think he did a very good job in posing. Yeah. Uh, this one was taken in Gastown, I believe. Um, I just saw her there, and I actually asked her as well. Um, and she looked like she was kind of lost, but she had this, like, I don't know, strength about her, and I wanted to get that. Okay. This one, um, I actually didn't even look at the, the uh, what I was taking a picture of. I was just kind of turned it upwards, and it happened to turn out really well. Um, I was just walking with my sister in an alleyway. Don't recommend kids doing that. <laughs> and. Uh, 
I thought it was really good for full. Uh, this last one, actually, I think it was the last day before school started again for the summer. And um, Ashley, a couple friends and I, we went for a walk in Steveston and uh, wanted to watch the sun rise and took this panel and I thought the contrast of the pictures or the colors is great. Um, this last one, I also don't recommend kids doing. I took this in a train yard. <laughs> this was in Vancouver, but I thought that the graffiti, it just had so much culture in it. And you know, graffiti isn't something that's you know, usually approved of, but I thought this was interesting. Um, this one was taken while I was on a boat, and uh, I like the, the diagonal and the colors of the white and the blue, and there's a bit of gradation, um, as well as just because it's action, but it's, it's frozen. I thought it just, it was, a, it was an actual moment frozen in time. Uh, this last one was taken, or not last one, one of the last few ones. Uh, I was taken in downtown Vancouver. Uh, I found it interesting how she was hiding behind a wall. And uh, it's like this beautiful piece of art, but not many people see it. So that was my focus on that one. And that was the last one. <laughs>